Do you know how to use data modeling in Excel? Let me demonstrate this part. So here you can see we have data set where we have date, product, reason and sales. And in the second sheet, we have product, category, cost and profit margin. Just I want to create a relationship between these two data sets. So for that, we need Power Pivot tab. So how we can add that? We can go to file, we can click on options. And here we have add-ins feature. We can click on manage, select command, add-ins and click on go. And here you can choose Microsoft Power Pivot for Excel. You can check this option and click on go. And after adding this Power Pivot tab, you can just add your data set to the data model. Simply how we can add, we can select the data set and click on add to data model. And we will get this dialog box. So after creating the table, it will be added in data model. We can click on okay. And now it will be added in data model. Same as we can add another data set also. So for now, we are on the screen of Power Pivot for Excel's data modeling screen. We can close this for now. And we can add another data set also. We can select this data set and go to power pivot and click on add to data model and we will get this dialog box we can click on ok now two data set we have in the data model and this is right now we are on the data view and if i will click on diagram view we will get the another view that we have to create the relationships so now i want to create a relationship we have the common scenario here that is product in table one and also in table two we have product so we can simply drag this product to the second table product and now you can see the relation is created simply we have table 1 and table 2 and the relation that we have in the product scenario and simply we can apply pivot table to analyze this data set we can click on pivot table and now we will get this dialog box we can click on ok to get the pivot table in new sheet and we have a pivot table we can simply analyze and even you can change this pivot table field you can click on that so this layout you can change now we have all the tables here Let's say I want to find out category by sales category I have in table two. I will simply put this to row section and sales I have in the table one. We can simply select this sales to value section. And now we are getting some of sales category wise. So this is how you can use this data modeling scenario. If you like this video, don't forget to share this video. And if you have any query in Excel, you can do comment in comment section. Thank you so much for watching.